Bangladesh. I call upon His Excellency, Prime Minister of Bangladesh, to kindly do this honor and hand over this special award, Lifetime Achievement Award, to Doctor Sister Rosemary Kujawa, the President Emeritus, Nevada University, Michigan State. Give a big round of applause, please. Now we want to we want our Reverend Sister Rosemary to enter the gathering. I request everybody to give her a big round of applause. Hello, my dear graduates. How are you? Good. Congratulations. I have a very brief message for particularly the graduates, but I think it applies to all of you. Briefly, I want to start with thanking Dr. Paulson and Dr. Koch for coming up with a brilliant idea. The world is changed with great ideas. But they don't go any farther unless they can lead people and can find people who are truly educated and understand the greatness of the idea. And that's why we need community here in our world to create peace and a wonderful place to live. To all of us here, as you can imagine, when you come to Dubai, what do you think besides a wonderful graduation we remember when we come here? Who, who knows of what one might remember when you come to Dubai? Well, I don't see any hands going up, and I'm not breaking this examination, but one of the items might be Burj Khalifa, correct? Yes, the largest, the tallest city, the tallest building in the world. The message I want to leave with you is that in each of you is a Burj Khalifa. In each of us is a Burj Khalifa. Not the tallest, not the best in the world necessarily, but the best that we can be. That's what you owe to yourself, to be the best you can be. Madonna University promotes four values. One of them is peace and justice. That's been mentioned here today. I ask you to think of um, of this particular value because you as a generation will either create a more peaceful world or not. Be the best you can be. Be your best, Burj Khalifa. I, would, I know there are others who are going to be speaking, so I will not speak any longer other than to congratulate you and to tell you be the best you can be. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Sister Rosemary. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Education is not preparation for life. Education is life itself. Now I request our next diplomat the Consul General of Sri Lanka, His Excellency, Mr. Tarita, to kindly come on the stage. I request Dr. Paulson to kindly hand over the bouquet to His Excellency, Consul General of Sri Lanka.
I request His Excellency the Master General of Sri Lanka to address the gathering. Nancy. 
we have uh, some few more guests who have come in. I request them to come on the stage. Dr. P.K. Yusuf, the former director of Neva Switzerland, I request him to kindly come on the stage. Dr. P.K. Yusuf, I request other guests, Mrs. Tanya Abdul Ghani, the general manager of Postal Group, to kindly come on the stage, please. Followed by Mr. Amos Sarma. He has completed our MBA degree from Medina University. He is now in Toronto. He is now in Canada. He has come all the way to attend our graduation ceremony from Canada. I request Mr. Amos Sarma to kindly come out on the stage. I request Mr. Jimmy Thomas, please come on the stage. Mr. Jimmy Thomas, please come on the stage. Dr. John Emmanuel, please come on the stage, please. We have Dr. Lakshmi, Dr. Lakshmi, our former professor, please come on the stage. Mr. Emmanuel, please come on the stage, please. Mr. Environment. We have Dr. Shah Mohammad Tarveen Mansoor, the Councillor of Bangladesh Consulate. So Dr. Paulson to hand over a bouquet to Dr. Shah Tanveer. Bouquet. Bouquet to Dr. Shah Tanveer. Thank you very much. I call upon Mr. I call upon Mr. Peter Hedwine, the President of Swiss Business Council. I request one bouquet to be handed over to Mr. Peter Hedwine. As a mark of respect on behalf of Latin American City College. I request Mr. Peter Hedwine to speak few words. Excellencies, professors, doctors, teachers, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, dear students. First of all, congratulations on your graduation. Most of you have worked very hard to get them, and I hope you've all listened to the previous advice, which was very, very good. Maybe if you didn't talk so much, you would be able to hear the people a little better also. As you can see, I'm a quite advanced in age, so I should have learned a lot and had a lot of experience. But I found out that unfortunately, you are never too old to learn. So what advice can I give you? Well, if you thought it was tough up to now, you are wrong. Difficulties in real life start now that you have graduated. Looking for a job will not be easy, and there is a lot of competition. It is a wild world out there, and it will be a real rat race. There is great camaraderie in school, which unfortunately very often gets lost in the workplace. So I wish you all a lot of good luck. You certainly need it and you certainly deserve it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Peter Henry. Now, we want to do two more honors. After that, we are going to start with the uh, uh, certificate distribution. We wish to honor our Dean of UPIS University, Professor Alexander Pulte, I request Professor Alexander Pulte to kindly come on the stage. <laughs> Professor Alexander Pulte is being given the award of appreciation in recognition of his very sincere and outstanding contributions to the growth of our institutions 
in the UAE and India and it provides the best quality European higher education from the UPIS University to the student community of the UAE and India. I request our Consul General of Bangladesh, His Excellency Bhadur Sama to kindly do this honor. Give a big round of applause please. I request Professor Alexander to speak a few words. Dear colleagues, dear guests, and first of all, dear students, um, you can already tell I'll keep it very short too. Um, of course, congratulations. I know that you all worked extremely hard to get here. I often think back at this graduation uh, ceremonies when I completed my own MBA and I had the luxury at the time to do this full time for two years um, and it's quite a different story if you have to work full time and do this uh, during those brief moments when you don't have to be at work and when you could relax and enjoy your family otherwise. And this also means that the complete relations should also involve all the families and everyone who supported you. I know the family, most of you probably would not have been able to do this without the support of your families. And your families in some cases at least I'm sure have suffered a little bit too during the last uh, year or so when you were in a uh, somewhat foul mood, that work was too much, that you didn't know how to deal with an assignment. So some of the congratulations have to go to them too. My, the, the key thought that I wanted to share with you is, of course, we are mostly looking back today. We are looking back at the time of your studies and we are celebrating that that time is over now. Um, but of course with this, the new period starts. From now on you are alumni of the university. You are joining a large international alumni group. And when I, when I looked at our um, diploma, specifically at the U.S. seal a few days ago. You can see, when you look very closely, the seal has the motto of our university, which is Sapere Aude. And Sapere Aude is a Latin term for dare to think. Don't be afraid to think. And at least for those of you who were in my entrepreneurship class, you already know how how often I stress that you should think for yourself, right? That what our, what our university gives you are the tools, right? Some of the, the background knowledge that you should have. But then, building on that, you should go out and discover things for yourself. Don't be content with doing things the way that they've always been done. As you, you just heard before, ideas change change the world. But it's up to you whether or how many of those ideas you will contribute to the change. So I hope um, I hope you will have a wonderful day and a wonderful life. I hope to see many of you again in the future. Um, I've been so often to do by now that yesterday I was uh, questioned somewhat aggressively at immigration why I'm so often here. Um, so I hope that will continue in the future and that uh, I can see you where, where you are in a year or two years and I hope you have many, many interesting stories to share with me. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I request Professor um, Alexander to be here. We have another honor to be done. I request Professor Alexander to, you know, take the outstanding leadership award on behalf of Mr. Patrick Faniel. Mr. Patrick Faniel is the CEO of UPS University and he has been given the outstanding leadership award. To do this honor, I request Dr. P.K. Yusuf and Mr. Peter Hedai to kindly hand over this award to Professor Alexander 
and he is taking the award for Mr. Patrick Faniel, Outstanding Leadership Award. A big round of applause, please. Thank you very much. I we have another honor to be done. And this honor is for Mr. Ryan C. Koss, the Academic Specialist of UPS University. I request him to kindly come over on the stage. And I request the Consul General of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Mr. Tarita Yathagoda, to do this honor, please. Mr. Ryan is being given the award of appreciation in his recognition of his very sincere and outstanding contribution to the growth of our institution in the UAE and it provides the best quality European higher education to the UKS University and the student community of the UAE and India. I request Mr. Ryan to say just a few words to our people. I have a personal stake there. I feel like um, our partnership has developed two years ago, and um, I'm pretty glad to see it grow to the extent it has so far. I'd like to congratulate all the students here, um, but in particular, I'd like to uh, congratulate the UDA students. Um, I think what you've done is uh, fantastic. It's a testimony to your hard work, um, to your perseverance, and to your determination to, to study hard. Yeah? It's fantastic work. Um, as Peter said, few minutes ago, once you graduate, the hard work really does start. Um, I'm a graduate now for the last three years, and I can tell you it's very much true. But I think for you as students, uh, what we tried to do, and part of our uh, ethos, was to ensure that you leave um, with the ability not only to diversify yourself in the market, but also to shine. And when I look over here, I see a lot of, uh, I see a bright future for a lot of people. So really, uh, congratulations to you all. Um, thank you very much for this award and uh, keep doing your work. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Ryan. I request Mr. Ryan to just stay back here for a moment. We'll do another honor. I request uh, we are having this last award of appreciation to be conferred on Professor Dr. Philip Rowan. He is the Dean of UPIS University in recognition of his sincere contribution. To do this honor, I call upon uh, Mr. Mohammed Madhubur Rahman, the President of Bangladesh Business Council and Chairman and Managing Director of Al Hamran Perfumes, and uh, Mr. Devanand Mahadeva, the Director of Sri Lankan Business Council, to kindly hand over this award of appreciation to mm -hmm. Professor Philip Lawrence. So I request Mr. Rayan to collect on behalf of Professor A big round of applause, please. Thank you very much. So we start with our certificate distribution ceremony. I request all the students to get ready for your awards, for your qualification, for your diplomas, for your degrees, and for your appreciation. I request the following students to be awarded the MBA degree from Madonna University. I call upon Reverend Sister Dr. Rosemary Kujawa and Reverend Sister Nancy Mary to do this honor. Okay, we have the Medona graduates, MBA graduates. I start up with Mr. Tanvi Raman. Please come over, Mr. Tanvi Raman, MBA. Mr. Vinay Sadanand, MBA, Mayam Hiran Solaki, Mohammed Saad Naim, Devika, BQ, please, Mohammed Saad Naim, Devika, Madhuvan, BQ, BQ. 
सूजन जगन शाह मोनिका बोलचंदानी यस कमो विनय क्रूस विनय विनय कम एमपी ओके ओके माया माया एंड शाइन अब्राहिम अशर खान अशर खान मोहम्मद सातने देविका माधवन सुनी जगन ऑल इन क्यू प्लीज शाह फहद मोनिका मोलचंदानी सुनी जगन शाह फहद मोनिका मोलचंदानी विनय सरानन getting the certificate of high honors vinay sanatan getting the certificate of high honors again shaini abraham getting the certificate of high honors please give up certificate of high honors to devika madhavan certificate of high honors to shah fahad Outstanding Academic Achievement Award for the MBA students of Federal University, Tanvi Raman, Tanvi Raman, Vinayak Sadanan, Vinayak Sadanan, Shine Abraham again, Outstanding Academic Achievement Award, Mohammad Saad Naeem, Devika Madhavan, Devika Madhavan. These are the Outstanding Academic Achievement Award. Tanvi Rahman, Vinayak Sadanan, Shani Abraham, Mohamad Saad Naeem and Devika. Congratulations. You have a big round of applause. Come on. Raja Mohammad Sharfuddin 
अच्छा एपी इब्राहिम बोटी श्रुति शरीफ रिचू जेकर राबिया मुसफर खान योहर रुमी कुशवाला विनीता और इनकी उपनी सानी की उपनी मोहम्मद सरीन यूसुफ पायल रवी दिस आर द स्टूडेंट्स हु हैव बीन कन्वर्ट विद ए यूकेएस सेकेंड डिग्री दे हैव गॉट अ डिग्री विद अ नाइस गिफ्ट फ्रॉम द यूनिवर्सिटी व्हिच इंक्लूड्स अ पेन अ मैगजीन एंड अ डायरी Thank you.